Hi guys, today we will see how to download Windows 10 ISO from Microsoft's website. Point your browser to this URL. This is where the update for Windows 10 and the tool which creates the USB or DVD or an IS DVD through an ISO is located. But if you are trying to directly download the ISO, you will not find a link. Instead, Microsoft provides a tool which basically downloads the ISO in the background and burns it for you. But if you are looking for downloading the ISO directly instead of using the tool, just follow this tutorial. So basically what Microsoft does is when you are using when you are browsing their website through windows they will show the tool to you if you use any other operating system other than windows say android linux mac os or any such os it will directly show you the download link now uh, i have installed uh, linux in this system so i can very well boot into linux and down download the iso using this link Let's assume you don't do not have Linux installed on your machine and you have only Windows. We'll see how to download the ISO using the Windows machine. Okay. So basically what we need to do is we need to change the user agent for this browser here. I am using Google Chrome. Well let's see how to change the user agent in Google Chrome to fool the Microsoft website to think that this website is actually being loaded in a Linux operating system. Okay, so click on apps. These are basically all the Google apps, Google Chrome apps, which are which you can download. We'll go to the web store. Just search for user agent. Change in Chrome Web Store. So there you have a bunch of user agents which is let us look at in this should do. So we will install this. Just click add on add to Chrome, add the extension. So this extension has been added to Chrome. It's it's over here. Just click on it. So here you will see a bunch of user agents which it supports. So what this basically means is if I select this, for example, an X7 tablet, what the web server will understand is that this browser is actually running on an X7 device which is a non windows device right so there are different not only operating system you can also make you can also fool the web server to assume different browsers for example even though i have a google chrome installed here i can make the web server think that i am i have connected to the web server through a firefox browser that is what basically this does so what i will do is i'll select this user agent which says chrome on ubuntu so now this web server basically thinks that the operating system which i'm using is ubuntu and i'm using a chrome browser we will refresh this page as you see it has already changed the URL it has added an ISO at the end and here you see the tool and the update now buttons have disappeared so it directly gives us 
an option to download the ISO file. So here what we will be doing is we will be selecting the version of Windows 10 which you have installed. As of Windows 10, confirm. Here we need to select the language. I would choose English and click on confirm. Now it asked me it is asking me for the processor type. I have a 64 bit. I will click on 64 bit download. As you can see, this has already started downloading the ISO, which is 3.7 GB large and it's the latest update 1511 which also let us use our Windows 7 and Windows 8.1 keys to install Windows 10. So today we saw how to download the ISO file directly from Microsoft. If you found this tutorial useful please hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe to view more such videos. Thank you.